गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई एम विशाखा ठाकुर वेलकम टू थ्री डॉट ओ टी वी या द न्यूज हेडलाइंस क्रिप्टो करेंसी स्लाइड ऑन स्टेक यूएस इन्फ्लेशन डेटा बिटकॉइन फॉल्स बिलो ट्वेंटी वन थाउजेंड डॉलर्स क्रिप्टो एक्सचेंज एफ टी एक्स फ्रीज इज अंडर स्ट्रेन ऑफ सी पी आई वॉलेटिलिटी श्वाब फिडेलिटी अदर वॉल स्ट्रीट फॉर्म स्टार्ट क्रिप्टो एक्सचेंज Swift and Symbiant announce corporate data blockchain pilot. North Island Ventures launches 125 million dollars investment fund. Web3 developer platform Alchemy raising 12 million dollars for new VC fund. Crypto lender Maker turns to staked Ether to reduce USDC influence. Federal Trade Commission seeks entry into Celsius bankruptcy case. Abu Dhabi regulator introduces its guiding principles for crypto. And now the news in detail. Cryptocurrencies were in a sea of red Wednesday after US retail inflation surpassed consensus estimate, triggering fears of sustained Federal Reserve monetary policy tightening. Bitcoin fell 21,000 in overnight trades. US August's consumer price index rose 8.3% as against expectations of an 8.1% increase while co-inflation, which excludes volatile food and energy prices, rose 6.3% versus forecast of 6.1%. US stocks fell sharply in overnight trades with Dow Jones Industrial Average and S&P 500 slumping 3.9% and 4.3%. The tech-heavy Nasdaq Composite plummeted 5.3%. The CME Fed Watch tool used to evaluate the probabilities of FOMC rate moves now forecasts an 82% probability that the central bank will increase rates by 75 basis points at its next meeting later this month. Markets are also pricing an 18% probability of a 100 basis points rate hike. Cryptocurrencies were also hurt by a rebound in dollar against all other major currencies. Digital assets often move in opposite direction of the dollar index or DXY, a gauge to measure the strength of the greenback against major currencies. Bitcoin was recently seen trading at around $21,300, down nearly 9% in the past 24 hours. Ether, the second biggest cryptocurrency, traded near $1,580, down over 6.7% in a similar time span. Investors were also wary ahead of the merge, which will see the blockchain transition from proof of work to proof of stake. All other major altcoins too traded lower. Cryptocurrency exchange FTX was unusable for some customers on 13 September amid a closely watched economic report on U.S. inflation, prompting a flurry of frustration from traders. Sam Bankman-Fried, CEO of FTX, acknowledged that the exchange had problems, saying that the website did wonky auto-refreshing for a lot of people. At 12:30 UTC, when the U.S. Consumer Price Index report was made public, traders on Twitter reported that the FTX interface was sporadically freezing. In response, Bankman-Fried stated that as of 13:25 UTC, the problem had been resolved. Over the course of an hour, the volatility led to more than $110 million in liquidations on various exchanges for crypto derivatives. Three titans of the financial world, Charles Schwab, Citadel Securities and Fidelity Investments, have announced the launch of a cryptocurrency exchange, EDX Markets. Jamil Nazar Ali, a former senior executive at Citadel Securities, will head the exchange. According to reports, Virtue Financial and venture capital firm Sequoia Capital and Paradigm are also among the investors in the EDX markets. Last month, BlackRock, the world's biggest asset manager, revealed that it would allow its institutional clients to invest in cryptocurrencies. The Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunication disclosed on Tuesday a partnership with fintech company Symbiant to provide more accurate data for financial firms through blockchain technology. 
Through assembly, Symbionts proprietary technology platform, smart contracts will be used to create a network effect that leverages the 11,000 plus institutions connected to SWIFT globally. According to the announcement, the pilot project could help providers distribute data in near real time to global custody clients. In 2017, Symbiont partnered with Vanguard to improve price index data distribution through blockchain, consuming data from funds worth $1.3 trillion a year. North Island Ventures, a crypto-focused investment firm, announced the closing of NIV Fund 2 with $125 million in commitments. With this new fund, NIV will aim to make 30 to 40 early-stage investments in emerging crypto and Web3 companies and protocols, with initial investments ranging from $250,000 to $3 million. NIV Fund 2 is North Island Ventures' second new investment vehicle within the past year, bringing the firm's total assets under management to approximately $300 million. North Island Ventures has invested in companies such as Bug Bounty Platform MUFI, Blockchain Interoperability Protocol Exilla and BCB Group. North Island launched a $72 million crypto fund last year with the participation of investors like billionaires Paul Tudor Jones, recording artist and producer LL Cool J and Sophie CEO Anthony Noto among others. Alchemy, a Web3 developer platform, plans to raise $12 million for a venture capital fund according to filing with the US Securities and Exchange Commission. The form filled with the SEC did not specify the purpose of the fund. According to the filing, Alchemy co-founder and CTO Joseph Lau is listed as the fund's executive officer. In June this year, Alchemy raised $25 million to create a grant program to fund startups and developers building in the decentralized finance or non-fungible token space. This week, the largest decentralized finance app in the world, Maker, increased the debt ceiling of its staked Ether Vault by twofold in an effort to lessen its reliance on centralized stablecoins in the wake of Center, the creator of the USD coin, blacklisting 38 addresses connected to the sanctioned cryptocurrency tool Tornado Cash. The tokens are the single largest source of collateral backing DAI, Maker's native decentralized stablecoin pegged to the US dollar. More than 34% of all assets locked on USDC are locked on Maker. If the request to increase the cap to $200 million is approved, more STETH can be deposited against DAI, lessening the influence of USDC. Some $49 million worth of STETH has flowed into the vault since the ceiling was raised. The STETH vault has a 0% stability fee, meaning users don't have to pay fees to Maker on their positions. The Federal Trade Commission filed Tuesday to join the bankruptcy proceedings of crypto lenders Celsius. According to court documents, FTC attorneys Catherine Asburu and Catherine Johnson have asked to represent the commission in the case. As of now, the court had not officially greenlit the FTC lawyers' requests. Celsius declared bankruptcy in July. Since then, both creditors as well as American regulatory bodies have sought to shape the process and outcome. The U.S. government is seeking the appointment of a third-party examiner amid allegations of misleading statements by Celsius. The Financial Services Regulatory Authority, which oversees the financial sector in the free economic zone of Abu Dhabi, Global Market released its guiding principles on how it approaches the regulation and supervision of digital assets. Five guiding principles were posted without a publication date on the ADGM's official website. Internationally recognized regulatory framework, dynamic and market-oriented regulations, risk-focused and proportionate approach, cooperation and shared responsibility and delivering high standards of quality and service are the names of these regulations. The principles pledge to comply with international standards in anti-money laundering, combating the financing of terrorism and supporting financial sanctions. That's all in the news today. This is me, Vishaka, signing off. And for more such updates, keep watching 3.0 TV.